Okay, here we are on our first stop on the turnpike. Okay, we are here in Philadelphia, and I'm looking real quick for a convenient mart, like a 7-Eleven. Walking past the bus station and came across here around 10th Street, and here is the Philadelphia Inquirer. Pretty cool. All kinds of really neat stuff and pretty buildings. Okay, here we are, and this is NEC at the Doubletree in Cherry Hill. Let's check this out. Biggie Gaming is going to be having a big tournament here tomorrow. Now, singles, regular tournament play is going to be tomorrow, which is Saturday, December 10th and 11th. But teams are today, this Friday evening so here is the general entrance to the hotel itself and we can see an awesome restaurant right there what's up huh? what's up, what's up? Uh, awesome stuff going on and the check-in right over here Okay, and this is the room at the Doubletree Hotel in Cherry Hill. Let's check it out. Coming in through this front door, we're going to be seeing a sink here immediately to the left. The sink is outside of the bathroom in case someone is in there. A nice double-sized uh, closet here to the right with a full-length mirror, a bathtub with an adjoining shower up at the top. Awesome stuff here for this bathroom. We have an adjoining door to another room, large TV, queen-size bed, Javier came on in from Texas to hang out for NEC and check out this view right here. Fantastic stuff. Awesome stuff here in Cherry Hill and this is going to be for Big E Gaming and that's 25 years of Big E Gaming. This is the largest tournament NEC and one of the last ones for this season, December of 2022. Okay, let's take a sneak peek at what the setup of the main ballroom is going to look like. As soon as you walk in through these double doors, we are going to be seeing lots and lots of stages here. Stages because remember, this is the biggest big e-gaming tournament now there is also going to be a side room for competition so we're going to have our first setup right here and i remember for summer jam at least this area was arturo's area and over here was kick punch punch block now melty blood is having their massive competition here melty blood official tournament but this is the grand finals of that tournament so eric has a special stage set up here for them now down in this area this way was uh Bifotechi's area which maybe someone different we're gonna have to go over and check out and over here 
was Funky P's area. But everything all set up and ready to go. Water stands for anybody that wants a drink of water. And it looks fantastic. Okay, heading out from the ballroom, we're going to see this area here is going to be for side games and retro. The cabs are going to be delivered very shortly. On the right here would be the pool area and that is the infamous pool party for summer August tournaments. But it's always too chilly to jump in it. So we always tease, tease about the pool party. And here we go for the artist's alley. All kinds of really cool custom keychains. Posters. Really cool art and plushies. And tons of retro controllers, games, and consoles. That is going to lead us to the setup of Them's Fighting Herds. And hey, the general check in area right here with one of the Capcom Cup champs eyed on here. Okay. Into this side room here, which is being set up, we're going to have NRS games, Blaze Blue. We're going to have Windjammers. Hey, what's up, what's up? And all kinds of other cool games being rotated through. What's up, everybody? Okay, so we are getting ready for a commentator meeting, and this is the setup for the room. And we're going to be getting started in about an hour or two. Let's check it out. So here we go at the front of the ballroom here in the main ballroom at NEC. Here we go. Off into the back area there. Just getting started. <laughs> Okay, the first round of pools has ended and we're going to be getting our second wave of competition in the room here. Everybody is just starting to get to their pools for the second round of competition. Okay, we are back in the hall here on this beautiful sunny day. Hey. Hey, Chihuan, what's up? Hey, tell us about your booth right here. So we're, we're starting our booth. You know, we all play all gaming. Uh-huh. We're just starting to uh, do our expo services at majority of the major tournaments. So you're going to definitely see us, like, all over um, next year. You know, so we're, we're pretty much going to be stopping at Frosty Frosty. That's nice. So um, we're just trying to get uh, some of the companies to be engaging with the FTC, especially like, you know, companies like JBL, stuff the size of the gaming headsets. Nice. We, want, we can kind of like demo, kind of like do like promotional stuff. Nice. So, you know, very simple, nice and crazy. You know, I'm trying to get the, you know, get their feet wet. Right. The game, the industry, and uh, that's pretty much what we're doing. That's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, yeah. Very simple, nice and crazy. You know, and if they like the idea, then they would invest more in the FCC. Right. So we just we have we all these... nothing but Nintendo stuff. Yeah, got, I was going to uh, say. Some uh, Smash. We got a Mario Kart 8 and we got a Mario Kart 64. 
over here. Uh, we do got 007 yeah. and Mario Tennis. So if anybody want to come and play. Well, it's cool that you get to try everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a really good idea. Yeah, especially if the people are just trying to kill time and waiting, you know. Yeah. They can play something different. It's a good idea. Yep, yep. Well, awesome stuff. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Top 16 of Street Fighter V starting soon at ECT. And let's check out this back production room. Okay, so here we go. Got the headsets. Red Bull and water. Main stage right there. This is where all the magic happens with the stream and production. And across the hall here is Tekken. Awesome stuff. What's up, everybody? So, yesterday, Helped out with top 16 for Street Fighter V, and then we ended up playing some Street Fighter IV and made fifth place. Helped out with some commentary with that. Today is Sunday. Javier and I are going to try to make it to the Rocky Steps and then get some cheesesteaks. So after that, Helping out with some top eight Street Fighter V, and it's going to be the rest of the finals. Okay, here we are heading out. Okay, so we are here in Philadelphia at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, and this is the Rocky Steps, so let's take a look at that. Okay, here we go. And we are going to trek on up these steps here, just like Sylvester Stallone did in the Rocky movie. And check out how cool this building is. That is the neatest thing. Yeah. Awesome. And then around here, really beautiful stuff. Okay, I'm gonna run up the steps. Let's do this thing. Okay. So it is on and... Okay, what's up everybody? And I have my Sangeef bear outfit on here. We're gonna see how it's going to go for top eight. I might be able to put the headsets underneath it. I'll keep the hat on for a little while and then probably take it off a little bit way through. So let's head into the ballroom and see what's going on. Okay, it's finals. Day here in the ballroom. 
getting started with some top eight action. Okay, we are here with the NEC 2022 Champ Idom. Fantastic stuff and a huge number of wins for you. Capcom Cup 2019 and this year Defend the North, Capcom Cup East Coast, East Coast Throwdown, second at EVO, CEO, first place combo breaker first place and of course here at NEC so how do you feel uh, feels good but the consistency is really paying off you know playing good every tournament and using like different characters every tournament my three characters Thor, boys and G really coming along really well great stuff and so unbelievable great strong showing with G it's great to see that you play such a good variety of characters there, you know, Lara and Poison and G. Are you thinking about possibly adding some more characters to the list, or what's your thoughts about that? Uh, unfortunately, I probably won't be adding another character because the game is like kind of on its way out. I know Street Fighter 6 is coming out soon. Mm -hmm. In Street Fighter 6, I'm probably going to learn probably like a three, a tandem of three again. So yeah. it depends on what three characters I think are really cool. Awesome. And is there anything special that you'd like to add? Um, I'm, I'm thankful for all these like tournaments, like all the offline tournaments. I'm a huge fan of offline tournaments. I've been going to offline tournaments for like since 2014. So I've been I've been around uh, for like NEC, kind of North PC, all the tournaments like uh, into my home, and uh, even tournaments like CEO Conflict and Evo, all that stuff. I really enjoy, really enjoy uh, all five of Well, thank you so much, and you did a fantastic job winning NEC here in 2022. A fantastic representative of the East Coast, New York, and of course, the world. One of the absolute best players in the whole entire world for Street Fighter V. And I know you're getting ready for Street Fighter VI. So, shout outs to you, IDOM, and thank you so much. We'll see ya. Bye. Okay, and here we have Bass, and he won Killer Instinct at NEC with Spinal. So, tell us how you felt going through those brackets. Uh, it was a really stacked bracket. Uh, I haven't competed in about two and a half years. Right. It was pretty exciting to play again. I actually had to pick Eagle this time. Okay. It's a counter pick. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty fun. Good for you. Yeah. That's very exciting. Killer Instinct still having a very strong showing online and offline. One of the next tournaments to have Killer Instinct is going to be Frosty Faustings in February time. Are you thinking about attending Frosty Faustings? Yeah, it's probably next on my list. Mm -hmm. For anyone that wants to play PI, it's a nine-year-old game, but you got weeklies every week, so check them out. Check awesome. them out on Twitter and Discord. Besides Killer Instinct, are there any other games that you enjoy playing? Yeah, uh, I used to like playing Sam Show, so I'm going to check Rollback when it comes out. Okay. Uh, I really like Street Fighter, I've always liked Street Fighter. So mm -hmm. Street Fighter V I'll still be competing in, but I'm really looking forward to Street Fighter VI. In addition to fighting games, you do speed runs, including Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, yes I do. I play a lot of Mega Man games, and I just recently got into uh, Ocarina of Time randomizers. Awesome. But casually. Anything else? Something special that you'd like to add? Um, honestly, just come show up. I haven't been around in about almost three years. and It's my first tournament back, and I felt like I was home again. So it's good seeing everybody. Cool. Great stuff. And awesome stuff on your Killer Instinct win here at NEC 2022. And we'll see you next time. Thank Bye. You. Bye, guys.